Ivan Fedotov, a Russian goaltender selected by the Philadelphia Flyers almost 10 years ago, has finally broken into the NHL after facing numerous challenges along the way. Today, we explore Fedotov's remarkable and controversial journey leading up to his much-anticipated NHL debut. And let's just say, the details of his journey will leave you stunned. Let's dive in. Drafted in the seventh round, 188th overall, by the Philadelphia Flyers in 2015, Fedotov stands as an imposing figure at 6'7", weighing 215 pounds. His remarkable stature places him among the tallest goalies in NHL history, alongside notable names like Ben Bishop, Miko Koskinen, and Mad Sogard. Following the draft, Fedotov remained in Russia, where he continued to excel in the KHL, showcasing his skills and delivering impressive performances between the pipes. During the 2021-2022 season, Fedotov showcased his exceptional skills by leading CSKA Moscow to victory in the Gagarin Cup Championship. His impressive statistics, including a 14-10-2 record with a 2.00 goals against average and 919 save percentage in 26 regular season games, solidified his reputation as a top-tier goaltender. Additionally, he contributed to the Team Russia's success in the 2022 Beijing Olympics, earning a silver medal. With such accomplishments under his belt, Fedotov seemed poised to join the Philadelphia Flyers for the upcoming 2022-2023 season. However, the situation took an unexpected turn. Despite signing a one-year contract with the Flyers on May 7, 2022, there were peculiarities surrounding the urgent to bring him to North America swiftly, likely influenced by geopolitical factors. Despite the swift processing of his visa and the completion of all necessary paperwork, Fedotov's journey to North America took an unexpected turn. At 25 years old, he wasn't anticipated to attend Prospect Development Camp in July, but the Flyers organization remained optimistic about him competing for a potential roster spot for the upcoming season in September 2022. However, Fedotov's plans were disrupted when he failed to arrive at the training camp. Instead, he found himself embroiled in a legal ordeal in his hometown of St. Petersburg. Reports emerged in early July 2022, revealing that Fedotov had been apprehended by law enforcement outside a local hockey rink, where he had been filming a documentary with a television crew. He was subsequently taken to a military enlistment center on suspicion of evading mandatory military service, a requirement for Russian men. In the wake of Fedotov's arrest, his whereabouts remained shrouded in mystery for several weeks, leaving the Flyers and the broader NHL community in suspense as they learned of the unfolding situation. Initial reports from a Russian newspaper suggested that Fedotov had been spotted at a military base in Severodvinsk, a naval city situated on Russia's northern coast. Subsequent updates confirmed that he had indeed been dispatched to this location. During this time, Russia was in the process of conscripting over 130,000 men for a year of mandatory military service. Although the law provided for a 21-month alternative civil service in places like hospitals for individuals who objected to military service, such requests were often overlooked. While Russian men aged between 18 and 27 theoretically could be conscripted, some never served at all highlighting the complexity of the situation facing Fedotov. Like many Russians, athletes often seek to evade or postpone military conscription through various means, such as obtaining medical or educational exemptions. In some cases, athletes may enroll in year-long distant learning programs at universities while continuing their sports careers, providing them with a legal basis to defer their military service obligations. Additionally, the Russian military has established special units tailored for elite-level athletes, allowing them to continue their sports pursuits while fulfilling their military duties. The Defense Ministry has proudly highlighted numerous athletes holding military ranks who have represented Russia at recent Olympics. 
participating in a diverse range of sports, including judo, skiing, and others. After fulfilling his military obligations, Fedotov was strongly suggested by authorities to join CSKA Moscow, commonly referred to as the Russian Red Army Team. Complying once again, Fedotov signed a two-year contract with CSKA in July 2023. However, the Philadelphia Flyers disputed the validity of this contract asserting that Fedotov was still technically under contract with them. The International Ice Hockey Federation sided with the Flyers, deeming CSKA's contract with Fedotov invalid. Rather than engaging in a protracted legal battle, Fedotov and his representatives decided it was in his best interest to return to the ice after a year of inactivity, despite the IIHF's ruling. This setback further delayed his anticipated journey to the NHL. Fast forward to 2024, and a new twist emerged in Fedotov's saga. On March 28th, it was revealed that CSKA Moscow had terminated their contract with Fedotov. Fedotov. This development occurred while Fedotov was still actively playing for CSKA Moscow. Despite the contractual dispute with the Flyers and the IIHF ruling against him in August, the reasons behind CSKA's decision to terminate Fedotov's contract after just one season remained unclear. However, this unexpected move provided Fedotov with an opportunity to refocus on his goal of making his long-awaited debut in the NHL. NHL. Before his contract with CSKA Moscow was terminated, Fedotov had showcased his goaltending prowess, maintaining a 2.37 goals against average and an impressive 914 save percentage over 44 games that season. This performance came at a time when the Philadelphia Flyers were grappling with concerns surrounding their goalies, including Carter Hart's off-ice controversy and rookie Samuel Erson's slumping numbers. Fedotov's arrival seemed perfectly timed to address these issues. On April 1, 2024, Fedotov finally made his NHL debut with the Flyers. In his first game, he left a lasting impression. Initially, Samuel Arison started in goal for the Flyers against the New York Islanders, but was replaced after allowing two goals on six shots in the first period. Fedotov stepped in and admirably kept the game within reach, despite facing a barrage of shots in the second period. Although the Flyers ultimately fell short, losing 4-3 in overtime, Fedotov's performance was commendable, making 19 saves on 21 shots and earning the team a crucial point. On April 5th, Fedotov had his debut start for the Philadelphia Flyers against the Buffalo Sabres. While the game didn't mark a spectacular beginning to his NHL career, as the Flyers ended up losing 4-2, it did signify the culmination of a tumultuous journey for Fedotov one that spanned nearly a decade and captured attention across the hockey world. While it's not common for athletes from countries outside of North America to fulfill military obligations, what made Fedotov's story distinctive was the timing and the circumstances surrounding it all. The controversy surrounding his attempts to avoid military service, coupled with geopolitical tensions involving Ukraine and the sudden public manner in which he was whisked away, added layers of intrigue to his journey to the NHL. Fedotov's saga was unlike any other, weaving together elements of international politics, personal perseverance, and athletic ambition into a narrative that captivated fans and pundits alike. It's a story that stands out in the annals of hockey history, showcasing the unique challenges and obstacles that some athletes must overcome to achieve their dreams on the ice. And there you have it, the wild and winding journey of Ivan Fedotov to the NHL. Drop us a comment below and let us know what hockey topics you'd like to see us cover next. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more. See you in the next one.